Yo, we locked in. It's due season. Today, quick topic. How to become a man of high value. First, you start off by clicking your seatbelt when you're driving so you can still live. You know what I'm saying? But nah. Um, look. You know, a lot of us, you know, and when you, when you wanna, in this era of self-improvement, you know, and trying to, you know, live your dreams and be on your path, you got to start thinking about what it takes to become who you want to become. And to become a man of high value, you know, what that means is the level of discipline and sacrifice that you're going to need to have to attain what you want to attain from, a, you know, financially, mentally, spiritually, like, it's tremendous. Um... Because being a man of high values, it varies. It depends on a lot of different factors, right? It depends on what you value, first of all. But generally, um, being a man who can make decisions, um, being a man that can stick to his guns, being a man who can compromise when needed, being a man that can you know, attain wealth. A man who carries out his ideas. A man who's uh, about his health and physical fit nature. A man that's working on his spirit and his inner self. That's how you become a high value man. It's not about having a certain amount of money or having a certain look, but it's just about being optimized, optimizing who you are to the best of your abilities. You know, and you can you can attain these things through, you know, the 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 practice of semen retention, you know, focusing on uh, um, withholding your semen in order to gain some kind of uh, uh, focus the proper focus and also so you won't be as desperate for pleasure sometimes you got to deny yourself pleasure to gain you know well in the world and um, you know learning how to budget learning how to, how to save money um Especially, you know, it's actually some people out here who make low wages, right? <laughs> like, I'm talking about $40,000 a year, you know, small salary, right? But they're living better than people with $100,000 a year. And why? Well, discipline, you know, never eating out for lunch, <laughs> um, living in an apartment that they can really afford like minimizing the things the expenditures that they have you know riding a bike to work things like that and then you will look up and they have a, a huge savings you know um, sixty thousand dollars in the bank one hundred thousand dollars in the bank and then they begin investing and become wealthy off investing only making thirty or forty thousand dollars a year. It's just a it's just a mindset shift. It's not about the the income that you bring in. It's about what you do with the income you bring in. Um, men who can stick to a gym regimen. You don't have to look like a Greek god, an African warrior, or whatever the case may be, in order to uh, be at your optimal health. But when you have a, a, a real rudimentary practice of, you know, attending the gym and working out, sticking to a schedule, having a routine, um, 
those are the things that build value in yourself, right? Um, as a man. And, you know, people feed off of those qualities. Um, when you work on your confidence, when you work on being able to speak to, speak to and relate to anybody because of your well-roundedness, because you read, because you have a wealth of knowledge. When you work on your brain and your mind and um, the things that you consume are of value and you can speak to well you know, a variety of people from all walks of life, you become a man of high value. You know, and that's how you, you know, when they, it's that book, Win, Win Friends and Influence People or whatever. Um, I never read the book, but if you look, think about the notion of that, right? Like me, I've always been the type of person, I've had all kind of friends. I have all kind of friends. I got friends that live a life of crime and been in jail. And, you know, <laughs> um, I have real studious friends, you know, very astute, you know, um, highly educated friends, uh, friends that are succeeding in corporate America at a maximum capacity people who are blue collar workers people who are you know um, uh, real estate moguls in a sense <laughs> you know I have a well rounded base of friends you know uh, you know people who are really religious people who are atheists <laughs> you know I have a well rounded group of friends and when you're when you're known for your character you become a man of high value you know now when I say I have a well-rounded group of friends friends though I only have a close circle though and your circle is important you know because your value lies in the circle that you hang around as well you know so you got to choose who you um, divulge true information about your life you know, choose who you who you see as uh, worthy of you know anything that you bring to the table outside of just superficial things. You know, and once you cultivate that circle, you'll see the value that it brings to your life and what you bring to their table as well. And women, when they when they see a man who's on their grind. It's on their path, sticking to their guns, you know, optimizing their health, taking care of their skin, reading books, keeping their, themselves sharp, earning money, you know, that's attractive, you know, because it, 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 it exudes alpha presence, okay? And those are the things you want to think about. Those are the things that you want to be a part of. Those are the things that you want to that you want to do um, to become a man of high value. Now, being being a man of high value is not to just get women. It's not to get women. It's to be the best version of yourself, right? Because if you're not doing it for yourself, then it's no point. You you'll have no real drive and passion to become who you really can become but if you do it for yourself that's the most important person to please first so you know think about some of those things man as you uh, walk this journey and you increase the value of your life and what you bring to the table and just optimize just focus on one thing at a time you know if it's, if it's getting in shape that you really want to do get in shape first okay and then move on to something else because you'll see that if you can be disciplined in one arena first you can do it in another arena all right hit that like button subscribe check back in with me tomorrow it's your boy carl Anthony.